Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a very long video for you guys. Maybe not long for you but long for me because I have got 20 Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks to share with you guys today. So I've actually got them in order here. I'm going to be going from darkest to lightest. I hope that I've got that right because the outside doesn't always necessarily reflect the colour on the inside. Now I have done a lipstick swatches video of these Superstay Matte Inks for you guys in the past. I think I did about 12 of them. A couple of them at the time were sent to me as PR and then a few I had of my own. But since then, and after strangely discovering, despite the fact that I had them, I didn't really give them the love that they deserved, I cannot get enough of them. These are hands down my favorite liquid lipsticks in regards to the drugstore. They generally cost around $9.99, but you can always get them on offer, buy two, get one free, buy one, get one free. So there's always a chance to get a more affordable price other than having to pay the standard $9.99. Now they come in a variety of different shades. 20 is not all of them. There is more, I don't know exactly how many, and some are available in the UK, some are not. Two of them I actually bought in Canada, which is why that you will notice that they are shaped slightly differently. However, the colors that I did buy in Canada at the time were not available in the UK, but they are now. I will make sure that I link everything below and I will also make sure to actually place the name of the lipstick in the video itself. More for myself, to be honest, because remembering them all, I take a photo of them, yeah, to remind myself of which order to do them. But before I start off with the lip swatches, let me just quickly discuss to you what they are like. They all come in this plastic casing and then you wind it off and inside is this teardrop shape dofa applicator. Now I'm sure you can see right in the middle there's like an indent and what happens there is that is where the majority of the product itself collects, meaning you don't have to go in and out, in and out. Most of it is on there, which is generally enough for most people to cover their top and bottom lip. Because I've got slightly larger lips, I sometimes have to go in a second time. But the shape of this makes it very easy to go around the contours of your lips. Now, in terms of the texture, it's on the slightly thicker side, not on the runnier side. However, it is kind of gloopy. Some of these are older than others, by the way, so I'm hoping that some of them haven't run out because that's another thing with these. Because the packaging is completely opaque, you never know when it's going to finish until it actually finishes and they're like, oh, I have to go to the shops. The texture is on the slightly stickier, thick kind of side. And some people may not like the sounds of that, but let me explain. What I have found with these is that they really stick to the lips. They do not come off. They're very, very opaque. You generally do not have to reapply in one layer unless you like me and I tend to go like that and it's moved a little bit and then you just kind of smooth it out but you get complete opaque coverage with every single one of these not a single one ever shows your natural lip color underneath which is excellent meaning you only need to really go in with one layer now they never completely 100% dry down I'd probably say that they get to about 85 to 90 percent completely dry but there's always a slight tackiness to it now I am not a lip licker it depends if you're a lip licker or not say it really fast with me lip licker lip licker lip licker <laughs> but if you lick your lips a lot yeah of course it will come off but if you don't really and I generally don't especially when I'm wearing lipstick I'm very conscious of the fact that I've got lipstick on it will stay on the lips I have found with these that they last upwards of 12 hours I very rarely in the day have to touch these up for example I was out yesterday for about 13 14 hours and it was only towards the end of the evening and I noticed a slight feathering on the outside of my lips and I just filled it in and voila it looked brand new new. I absolutely love the way that these perform. I love the way that even though if you'll be drinking a drink or whatever and you'll see a slight residue come off on the mug, it never really shows on the lips. So if you were to kiss somebody, yeah, it would come off onto their face. But if you look at your lipstick, it still looks fresh. So you could be like, it weren't me that kissed you. Who was it? My lipstick's still intact. That's another reason why I love these so much, especially because of the fact that they just remain opaque all day and they barely come off at all. They really stick to the lips really really nicely and even with the really lighter shades like this one that I'm holding right now seductress because it never completely dries down it doesn't do that settling within the lines of your lips that other liquid lipsticks can do that have got a more watery kind of texture to them now even though they have got that slightly thicker texture because of the fact that they never completely dry down they don't dry out your lips my lips feel moisturized they feel hydrated they don't feel uncomfortable this does not flake it does not peel off it does not crack it doesn't make your lips look aged and 
kind of shrunken like you get with some liquid lipsticks and that's the reason why these are all a straight 10 out of 10. So what I'm going to be doing for you now like I've already said is I'm going to be swatching all 20, I've got 20 here for you guys, of all the ones that I own. Some are more favourites than others, others I don't use so much and one or two of them I think are still the free ones that I got from uh, Maybelline, like this one here which is called Escapist. It's not really one that I tend to go for because it's actually a bit too dark for my liking. However, I still got it and as far as I'm aware, yeah, it still smells all right as well. Another thing I like about this is that you can layer it if you do want to. In my opinion and my advice to you guys is try not to layer it because it is quite thick and you will find that it is too like sticky otherwise. So try to keep it to one layer. It doesn't dry or start to dry immediately. So if you do need to kind of maneuver it around, you can still do that without having the urge or the feeling that you need to reapply from the actual tube itself.
Okay, everyone, so 20 lipstick swatches and three hours literally later, I am done. My lips are so sore, I can't even explain to you guys. Like, I need to take this off now, but I just don't want to touch my face for at least a few hours. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what your favorite is out of all of the lipsticks that I shared with you. If I have to share my favorite, I would definitely say that Front Runner is one that I wear quite a lot. Pathfinder is another favorite that I use quite a lot as well. Self Starter for when I want like a kind of peachy sort of look. In fact, I'm not gonna like, I like all of them, but these are probably the three that I tend to use the most. As well as Inspirer as well. I think that's one you guys have seen me wear quite a few times. It's like the perfect baby pink for brown skin tones. That's it for my 20 lipstick swatches. I think it's gonna be a long time before I ever try anything like this again three hours and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video bye